Hi everyone. Welcome to our Octane YouTube channel. We go the extra mile, so you can go the distance. Boost your business performance with Octane. We are an IBM Gold partner. Work closely with IBM sales and product teams. We have six offices, out of which two offices are in Australia and four in India. Octane head office is based in Sydney, Australia. We have more than 40 certified IBM planning analytics consultants in our six offices. And together we have delivered more than 100 projects successfully. What we do. Our four key areas of expertise are providing, consulting, development, support and training. Our offices in India has 24 by 7 support center, wherein we manage our global clients all day, all year. We also provide virtual IBM planning analytics training sessions. In this video, we will be covering on how to write feederless rules. Now, let's get started with our main demo on feederless rules. In normal scenario, what we do when we write a rule and also write a feeder to feed that so that we can get the correct number at consolidation level. Now, I will take you to the demo where I have a test server in that I have two cubes. One is my headcount cube and another one is TA rate cube. First, I will show you the headcount cube where I have five dimensions. Version dimension time dimension, band dimension, location dimension, and my measure dimension. In major dimension, I have two elements. One is my head count, which I had already inputted. And second one is travel allowances cost, TA cost, which we are going to calculate. Now, I will show you my second cube, which is TA rate cube. I already inputted my TA rate per employee as 5,000. Now, we are going to write a rule to calculate my PA cost. What we need to do, we have to right click on the head count cube and click on create business tools then a rule editor window will open in the right pane i have already written a rule in the notepad we will just copy the rule and paste it into my rule editor and click on save now we will go to sheet one where we have headcount cube view and click on refresh then we can see the numbers in ta cost so for band one u underscore one and for the month of january 2018 we can see my total cost is 15,000, which is 5,000 per employee cost multiplied by three headcount if I go and apply suppress zero, then you can see that TA underscore cost column gets disappeared because we haven't write any feeder for the rule. In this scenario, one way is we have to write the feeders to my rule. Then only we can see TA underscore cost value. But in today's video, we are going to show you how we can see calculated numbers without any feeders. What we will do, I will edit my headcount measure dimension and because my PA cost is based on my headcount. So I make headcount as child of my PA underscore cost. To do that, I just drag the headcount element and drop it over my PA underscore cost element. Now we can see my PA underscore cost is parent of my headcount element. We will go to the headcount view again and refresh the view to see result. Now, you can see the PA cost numbers are same as headcount. And the reason is because we have written a rule at end level known as leaf level. Now to correct the TA underscore cost calculation, we have to change the rule to C level also known as consolidation level. In rule editor, we will replace n colon with c colon. Now, my rule becomes my consolidation level rule. Save the rule file and then go back to the sheet, where we have headcount view and refresh it. Now, we can see it is calculating the correct cost, without any feeder. I already applied suppress zero on it. And still we can see the PA underscore cost. This is the way, where we can write rules without feeder. I request you to keep following our YouTube channel and click on the bell icon to receive our next video notification. Thanks for watching my video.